Now let's take the first use case of fetching profile information from Auth0. Let's say if the client wants to make a query using GraphQL to fetch profile pic from the Auth0 user. We need to write a custom resolver to achieve the same. We write a simple node server where we require Apollo server and define the types for Auth0 such as email and picture which needs to be queried by the client. We write a query type and map the Auth0 query type to the Auth0 profile type. We write a simple utility function called getProfileInfo which will make a query to the Auth0 management API to fetch the user information based on the user ID. This is the GraphQL resolver for Auth0 type. We take the authorization header from the request by passing in the context below. Now using the headers, we decode the JWT token and get the user ID which will be passed to the profile info utility function. Once the profile info gets the data from the Auth0 API, it returns a response and we return the email and picture object as the response. All right, now let's deploy this to Glitch and see how we can make use of this custom resolver in our Hasura GraphQL engine. Let me remix this project and create my own fork to add my Auth0 credentials. As you can see, there is an env file where I need to enter the management API token and the Auth0 domain. We can fetch the Auth0 domain from the Auth0 settings. To create the management API token, we go to the API section under Auth0. We click on the Auth0 management API and we click on API Explorer to create a test application to generate the token. We've got the token here. Now let's copy this and put it in the environment variable section. Glitch will automatically save this and restart the server. Let's look at logs to see if the server is running correctly. 